everyone. Well, I have finally collected the results of my experiment trying to synthesize nucleotide bases from formamide. Although I would not characterize the experiment as a total failure, the results are somewhat disappointing. However, in keeping with the integrity of the scientific method, I would never try to fudge the results of any experiment to try to fake having a successful result. And so, here are the results for the formamide experiment. First off, this is a graphic illustration of the peaks that you would expect to get from all of the nucleotide bases. In RNA, however, the base thymine would be replaced by uracil. As you can see, all of the peaks for these substances fall within the 240 to 280 nanometer range. Now let's move on to my results. Using a pure formamide solution as my blank, I performed the spectral analysis three times and the results were all very consistent with one another. As you can see, there is indeed 100% absorbance between 260 and 280 nanometers. However, the 100% absorbance only starts at 260 nanometers and stretches all the way to 320 nanometers. This could be a successful result since it is possible that there are other compounds which were created in this experiment which have peak absorbance values outside of the 240 to 280 nanometer range. However, since we can't say that for sure unless we would do a chemical analysis with very sensitive equipment, which I simply don't have, it is more accurate to say that the results of this experiment are inconclusive. It's very difficult to do a spectral analysis when the experiment that you are doing could produce a wide variety of compounds, all of which have similar peaks. And so with this experiment, I think that I might have bitten off more than I could chew. Anyway, I might try this experiment again without using the Montmorillonite clay, which is just something that I added thinking that it might help to create a wider variety of compounds. And that could have caused a problem. Uh, I will say again that I'm not a trained scientist. And at this stage of my channel, I am simply trying to replicate previous experiments which have been done in the past. So anyway, I just want to thank everyone for watching, and I'm looking forward to doing my next experiment.